Hello and welcome back to another easy online German animal film. Do you like rabbits? Well, here comes a film about two sweet rabbits which I filmed on the meadow at the beginning of June and they are really cute and during the film you will learn some new vocabulary and after the film we will repeat everything again. So here comes the film. Enjoy and see you later. So here we have our two rabbits. I think it's a couple. The rabbit is das Kaninchen in German. And the wild rabbit is das Wildkaninchen. You can also say der Hase, which means the hare or the small form, das Häschen, which is a young hare or a bunny. I think that it's a couple and the couple is das Paar or you can also say das Pärchen. This is the small form of Paar. And these rabbits are grooming each other. In German you would say, die Kaninchen putzen sich gegenseitig. And there was a yellow buttercup and the light grey rabbit eats the buttercup and in German you would say Das Kaninchen frisst eine Butterblume The rabbit is eating a buttercup And here they are again, both busy with eating. And here is the light grey one. And it's obviously busy with grooming itself. And in German you say, das Kaninchen putzt sich. Sich putzen is a reflexive verb and means to clean oneself. I really like the color of its fur this light grey fur I think it's very seldom most of the time I see brown rabbits like the other one but maybe one of its parents was an albino And if you want to say the rabbit is scratching itself, you say das Kaninchen kratzt sich. Sich kratzen is another reflexive verb to scratch oneself. And here they are again, the two sweeties, very 
relaxed, at least the light grey one. They're really relaxed and feel comfortable. They really like to cuddle and if you want to say the rabbits are cuddling with each other, you say die Kaninchen kuscheln miteinander. The rabbits are cuddling with each other. It's really nice to watch them in free nature. And if you want to say the rabbits are sitting on the meadow, you would say die Kaninchen sitzen auf der Wiese. And now it's really relaxing. And if you want to say the rabbit is feeling comfortable, you say das Kaninchen fühlt sich wohl. And literally it means the rabbit is feeling well. You can also say the rabbit is relaxing and in German you would say das Kaninchen entspannt sich. Sich entspannen is another reflexive verb. You can also say the hare is taking a rest. Der Hase ruht sich aus. Sich ausruhen is another reflexive verb. To take a rest or to have a rest. And I think this rabbit is also sleeping. And if you want to say the rabbit is sleeping, you say das Kaninchen schläft. Schlafen is to sleep. And this was the bus passing by. And if you want to say the bus is coming, you would have to say der Bus kommt in German.
and you could hear a car passing and if you want to say a car is passing you would have to say ein Auto fährt vorbei and the light gray one is busy with eating and if you want to say the hair is eating you would say der Hase frisst der Hase frisst in german we use the word essen But for animals, we use the word fressen. And you can hear the neighbors talking. And if you want to say the neighbors are talking to each other, you say die Nachbarn unterhalten sich. Die Nachbarn unterhalten sich. And if you want to say the rabbit is eating a daisy then you would have to say das Kaninchen frisst ein Gänseblümchen. Gänseblümchen means little goose flower. Blümchen is derived from Blume. Die Blume is the flower. And you can also hear the birds singing. And if you want to say the birds are singing, you say die Vögel singen. You can also say the birds are twittering. Then you say die Vögel zwitschern. And this is a blackbird. I filmed this scene in the evening at nine o'clock, I think. And these rabbits are coming from the forest, which is very close. And here's the other one. 
and it has the typical brown color. It's also grooming itself. And you can hear the blackbird singing again. I think it's really nice to watch them so close. It's very busy with grooming itself. I can also hear a dove in the background. And now it starts eating again. It's really nice to watch them chewing. And if you want to say the rabbit is chewing, you say das Kaninchen kaut. Kauen is to chew.
And this was the video about our rabbit couple. Hope you liked it and now we're going to repeat everything again. So stay tuned. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the film and I hope you still have time to repeat the new vocab. We start with the rabbit and the rabbit is das Kaninchen in German. Das Kaninchen, a neuter noun. And it's a neuter noun because it has the diminutive ending chen. These nouns are always neuter. In this case we have two wild rabbits and the wild rabbit is das Wildkaninchen, a compound noun and it's a neuter noun because we have das Kaninchen at the end of the noun and the last noun in a compound noun always determines the gender so it's Das Wildkaninchen. For more information about compound nouns, you can also watch my video about this topic, which I published lately. You can also say der Hase, and this means the hare. It's a masculine noun. Der Hase. Though it's not a real hair, but it belongs to the group of hairs. But when we say Hase, we can mean a rabbit or sometimes even this big hair, which is Feldhase in German. And if you want to take the small form of Hase, you can also say das Häschen, which means young hare or bunny. And in this film we see a couple and the couple is das Paar, or you can also use the small form das Pärchen. And the rabbits really like to groom each other and if you want to say the rabbits are grooming each other you say die Kaninchen putzen sich gegenseitig. Die Kaninchen putzen sich gegenseitig. They are grooming each other. Sich putzen is a reflexive verb and if you want to say the rabbit is grooming itself, you say das Kaninchen putzt sich. Das Kaninchen putzt sich. If you want to say the rabbit is eating, you say Das Kaninchen frisst. Das Kaninchen frisst. When we talk about animals, we use the verb fressen instead of essen. And if the rabbit eats a buttercup, then you say Das Kaninchen frisst eine Butterblume. The rabbit is eating a buttercup. Das Kaninchen frisst eine Butterblume. Or, das Kaninchen frisst ein Gänseblümchen means the rabbit is eating a daisy. Das Kaninchen frisst ein Gänseblümchen. The rabbit is eating a goose flower or a little goose flower. 
Das Gänseblümchen contains the word das Blümchen and das Blümchen is the small form of die Blume. And Gänse is the plural form of Gans. So it means geese, the plural form of goose. And when the rabbits are grooming themselves, they also tend to scratch themselves. And if you want to say the rabbit is scratching itself, then you have to say das Kaninchen kratzt sich. Sich kratzen is a reflexive verb and means to scratch oneself. Das Kaninchen kratzt sich. Rabbits also like to groom each other and to cuddle with each other. And if you want to say the rabbits are cuddling with each other, then you say die Kaninchen kuscheln miteinander. Die Kaninchen kuscheln miteinander. The rabbits are cuddling with each other. If you want to say the rabbits are sitting on the meadow, you say die Kaninchen sitzen auf der Wiese. Die Kaninchen sitzen auf der Wiese. Die Wiese is a feminine noun and in this case we have the dative after auf. Auf is one of the prepositions of change and we would ask wo sitzen die Kaninchen? Die Kaninchen sitzen auf der Wiese and as we have to ask with wo, we have to use the dative case. And if a rabbit is relaxing and stretching, and if you want to say the rabbit is feeling comfortable, then you say das Kaninchen fühlt sich wohl. And this means the rabbit is feeling well, if you translate it literally. Das Kaninchen fühlt sich wohl. Or you can also say the rabbit is relaxing. And this means das Kaninchen entspannt sich. Das Kaninchen entspannt sich. So we have another reflexive verb sich entspannen. You can also say the hair is taking a rest and in German it is der Hase ruht sich aus. Der Hase ruht sich aus. So we have another reflexive verb sich ausruhen means to take a rest or to have a rest and in the sentence it is separated, so we have a separable verb. And this is because ausruhen contains a stressed prefix. Because you say ausruhen and in this tense, so simple present, the verb is separated. You can also say, das Kaninchen schläft. The rabbit is sleeping. Schlafen is to sleep. Das Kaninchen schläft. So we have an Umlaut in this verb. Besides, you could also hear the bus coming. And if you want to say, the bus is coming, you say, Der Bus kommt. Der Bus kommt. Kommen is to come. You could also hear that a car was passing. And if you want to say 
A car is passing. You say ein Auto fährt vorbei. Ein Auto fährt vorbei. Fahren is to drive. You could also hear the neighbors talking to each other. And in German you would say, die Nachbarn unterhalten sich. The neighbors are talking to each other. Die Nachbarn unterhalten sich. You could also hear the birds singing. And in German you would say, die Vögel singen. The birds are singing. Die Vögel singen. Singen is to sing. Or you could say, the birds are twittering. Die Vögel zwitschern. Die Vögel zwitschern. And when the rabbits are eating, it's really nice to watch them chewing because they are chewing so fast. And in German you say, das Kaninchen Kaut. The rabbit is chewing. Das Kaninchen kaut. Kauen is to chew. So this was all about the new vocab and I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and thank you rabbits for being there and for doing everything you did in front of my camera. I hope you have a good and long life and of course I will also produce more animal films. So let's see what gets right in front of my camera during this summer. And for now I say bye bye and take care or as we say in German Tschüss, macht's gut. Mm.